All right, today, expanding on the driveway alarm alert system. And what we are building is a voice module to control a radio to broadcast an alert message when something is tripped. So you could use this for a driveway alarm. You could use this on a home alarm. Anything that has a, a, a output of voltage, in this case 12 volts, and you want it to broadcast over a radio, such as this UV5R from Baofeng. So, the, it's a very, very simple circuit that we're building, and the main components only cost a few dollars. The first thing is this, it says Sun Key High Quality, but what this is, is just an ISD1820 voice recorder module, okay, and they're very standard it's a very standard uh, voice recorder module. It's meant to be used with an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi setup. Um, you can program it however you want. In this case, we're just gonna be controlling it manually. Um, it's ideally run at 3.3 volts, but it can also run on five volts, which is much easier. So uh, we have the, this is the, from Amazon, the recorder module here. It comes with a little speaker, which we won't be using, but that's what's meant to connect to the white leads that come out of this side here. Okay, and we also need a little project housing. So, once again, it can be bought on Amazon, cheap. I got a pack of four of them for around $5. I always need a little project housing, so we'll use one of those. Also need this power supply here. What this does is this converts 12 volts into 5 volts. So in on one side, 12 volts, out on another 5 volts, up to 3 amps total. Um, for testing purposes, I've just got a little 12 volt power adapter, and I wired up this little connection on the end. But this will be our trigger wire. So in my case, when the driveway alarm goes off, it sends 12 volts over these wires out of the driveway alarm into this circuit steps it down to five volts. I split the power wire into two wires here. And I'll show you how these work in just a second. Uh, I also have these ribbon cables. I bought these on Amazon also just to have, but they have the little pins uh, and it's good for ho hooking up like an Arduino or something to uh, uh, boards like this to have the little standoff pins. So. You could probably come up with some other method, but this is just the easiest way. So I've got a total of about $15 here or so, $15, $20. And obviously I have my radio uh, right here. So what I'm doing is, uh, like I said, I want, um, in another video I showed how when the driver alarm goes off, we use the output of the speaker and the driver alarm itself and plumb that into a Valfang radio with the voice activation turned on and it didn't really work as well as I'd hoped because it was just a a long tone sound and it didn't really come over the radio the correct way. So I want to use a voice recording board. And how this board works is on the first pin it says VCC that's where you apply your 5 volts power. The second pin down on the left is ground and for our purposes, all you'll need to know is the PE button, which is play edge, which means if you tap the button, it'll play whatever's recorded on the board. You can either actuate it by pressing the button in here or sending your positive voltage to that pin. Very simple, okay? So I think you can see what's going on here. Basically, when we run the 12 volts in, it can, steps it down to five volts, powers up the board, activates that pin, it broadcasts out on the speaker cable, which I took this out of the driveway alarm, which I'd had before. So it sends the speaker output over the cable here. Okay, and in this case, we're just using the microphone pin, which is the larger one. It sends that output and then into the radio. Once again, we turn Vox on on the radio. I have it set at five on the UV5R. And to record your message, there's actually a little microphone right here. Um, so what you do is you press and hold the record button. You have 10 seconds 
to do your message and then you let off and once you let off you can play it back so what I did was I took a voice recording uh, on from the computer and it basically it plays a little tone and it says driveway alert and it repeats it driveway alert um, and it plays it over the radio you can record anything you want using your own voice if you want to do it like I do you could just um, I actually did it on my cell phone and you know held the speaker up close to the microphone and I'll show you how that works all right so I've got everything hooked up we're going to simulate plugging this in we'll just be simulating the 12 volt output I've got another radio over there set to receive so you can see how it sounds so plug it in Oh, I guess it would help if I connected the pins, wouldn't it? All that suspense for nothing. So, in this case, the red pin is the positive. The yellow pin is the ground. And then we'll connect the brown one, which is our second positive output, to the... PE button or location on the board there. Okay, so let's try this again. And that's it. So it plays through your 10 second cycle and then stops. So that will broadcast over uh, the frequency that we use around here and that way if we're out on the property we will have an alert to when someone's coming up the driveway so hopefully uh, this was informative like I said I'll get a try to get a nice shot here for you so you can see how it's hooked up once again to record it when you have it connected to power you can just disconnect the brown wire have your red and yellow wires connected to positive and ground and record it manually just by pressing and holding that button if you mess up it's okay just let off tap it once and then press and hold it again while you record your message and when you're done recording let off of it and then you can test it by hitting the play button here I guess it helped if we had it plugged in You cannot have the cable plugged in and press the button. Alright, so hopefully that helps someone out. If you have a question or comment, leave it below. I'll have the part numbers in the description. Thanks.